In today's episode, we will be covering a recent shark attack in Bantry Bay, off the coast of Australia. Unfortunately, the bull shark responsible for the attack claimed the life of one swimmer and has since developed a dangerous taste for human flesh. The shark has continued to pose a threat to those in the area and tragically, another swimmer was viciously attacked and fatally wounded. Be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to stay up to date on this terrifying story. Bantry Bay is a stunning natural gem located in the remote reaches of New South Wales, Australia. It's an area that's seen little development, and as such, it's been designated as Garigal National Park, which boasts thousands of accessible hiking trails for nature enthusiasts. In addition to the breathtaking scenery, visitors can enjoy access to the bay's cool, clear waters. But what makes this area truly unique is the abundance of ancient Aboriginal rock art found throughout the park. These depictions of people, animals, and daily life provide an invaluable glimpse into the culture and history of the Aboriginal people. During the 1940s, the world was in turmoil due to the ongoing battles of World War I. Many families were forced to evacuate their homes and move to safer location. British families living in Hong Kong were among those evacuated, and 5,000 women and children were relocated to New South Wales, with most settling in the Bantry Bay area. However, the transition was not easy for many families, as they had to adapt quickly to a new culture and climate without much preparation. One such family was that of 13-year-old Denise Birch, who had to adjust to life in Australia after being evacuated from Hong Kong with her family. Two years after arriving in New South Wales, Denise and her family had adjusted well to their new community. But on a Boxing Day outing to the beach with a group of friends, their lives were forever changed. While the group was enjoying the crystal clear waters, a large bull shark attacked and pulled Denise under. Despite her valiant efforts to fight off the shark, Denise tragically lost her life that day. This devastating incident is a reminder that even the most beautiful and tranquil location can harbor unexpected dangers. It's important to always be aware of potential risks and to take necessary precautions to keep ourselves and others safe. The scene was chaotic and terrifying. Denise was being violently shaken by a shark, her limbs torn apart and her screams muffled by the water. Her friends desperately threw rocks and branches at the animal in hopes of scaring it away. But despite their efforts, Denise's body soon floated lifelessly to the surface, a pool of blood growing around her. Her friends were shocked and horrified by the extent of her injuries. They pulled her from the water and called for help, but it was too late. Denise had died from the brutal attack. The community was devastated by Denise's death and the fact that it was caused by a shark made it all the more shocking. Her family was inconsolable, and the police were called to investigate. It was determined that the attack was unprovoked and ruled as an accident. Denise was buried in a large funeral, with the community coming together to support her family. Tragically, another shark attack occurred in the area just a few weeks later, this time on a 28-year-old woman named Zyda Stedman. It was believed to be the same bull shark that had killed Denise, but it was never caught. The authorities advised people to stay out of the waters of Bantry Bay to avoid further attacks. It was a stark reminder of the dangers that can lurk in the ocean and how quickly life can be taken away.